Is your iPhone iCloud account getting full or too fast? Let me show you why and what you need to do. Let's go. On your iPhone, let's go ahead and click on settings. Then let's go ahead and open your iCloud account on the top. Then let's go ahead and click on iCloud. Okay, now let's go ahead and click on manage storage. And then let's go ahead and click on backups. Okay guys, you will see different backups on your iPhone. On my iPhone, I only have one backup as you can see. You know, it's getting 6.5 gigabyte from my iCloud account. So what I'm gonna do, let's go ahead and open one of the backups that you have on your iPhone. Let me open that one, I only got one. So let's wait a couple of seconds until you see all the different actions. Okay guys, now let's go ahead and click on show all apps. Okay, first of all, let me explain to you why your iCloud account is getting full too fast. The main reason that happened, guys, is because all the apps, as you can see, you will see all your iPhone apps on this section right here. So all those apps are allowed to save their data on your iCloud account. Even though you don't use most of the apps on your iPhone, they still keep running in the background, saving data on your iCloud account. What you need to do guys to stop that and basically free up space on your iCloud account, you're gonna turn off the setting for the app that you don't want on your iPhone or the app that you don't need it, you know what I mean? So for example, I don't want this app Garage Door to be saving the data on my iCloud account. It's not too much, it's only 36 KB, it's not a lot of space, but still, I don't want that to be safe on my iCloud account because you know that you only have five gigabyte free on your iCloud account for storage. But if you let all your apps to save their data on your iCloud account, it's gonna get full really, really fast. So let's do that. The only apps, guys, you need to have the setting on is only for the app that you need, guys, or you use a lot. Apps that are really important for you because that way, in the future, if you buy a new iPhone and you use the same account, you will have all the data from your app that you need, okay? But for the other apps, guys, just turn off the setting. You're gonna notice right on the top that if your backup size is 50 gigs, as soon as you turn off any game setting or app, that gigabyte is gonna go down. You see? So the backup size is gonna go down. Okay, right now I have 12.71 gigs. Let me just turn off this one, Files. I'm gonna turn off the setting. 12.71, it went down to 10.98 gigs. You see what I'm saying? That's all you need to do with all the app that you don't need. So after you do that, go back, go back. So you're gonna do the same thing right here, guys. Just select the app that you don't need on your iPhone like for example, let me just clips. I don't want that app to be saving all the data and documents on my iCloud account. Just delete document and data, boom. That app gonna stop automatically to be saving the data on your iCloud account because like I said, there's only five gigabyte free that you are getting on your iCloud account when you create a new Apple account, guys. And if you wanna buy more space, as you can see right here, I have 200 gigs. You know, I'm paying like $10, I think, for 200 gigs. If you wanna do that, just change your storage plan and you will see right now. So you can get two terabyte for $10. I'm actually paying $3 for 200 gigs. So it's really good, you know what I mean? If you don't wanna delete anything, just um, increase your iCloud account storage and that's it. But you have to be paying the three dollars or the ten dollars every month okay guys you cannot stop paying that because it's gonna be a problem then that's all you need to do guys if you got any question please let me know and by the way don't forget to subscribe to my channel share this video see you next time